I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we get ready for a fun night at the Glass Academy's annual Hot Glass Cold Beer. We visit Angelina's for some delicious Italian right in the heart of downtown, and then we get messy at a Coney Dog Eating Contest, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. So look at this beauty, it's a hand-blown glass mug. I'm at the Glass Academy in Dearborn for their hot mug cold beer night. It's a great event and you can come here, take out and look at some of their awesome mugs and sample some beer from local breweries. Cheers. Yes, all of the mugs for our mug club members are made here at the Glass Academy. Made yes. Here. yes. That's pretty neat. So let me see. I want something light. You would like our Bear Ass Sweet, which is a happy bison. It's got a bunch of different kind of spicy flavors, but it's light textured, light colored. It's a good summer beer. Now, how many beers do you guys make at your. We usually keep between 10 and 12 on tap. We've got about 15 to 20 in rotation, but we have probably 12 is the max we can put on tap. Right. Well, I say thank you. Cheers. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, refreshing. That is nice. I love it. I love it. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We've got five of our favorite breweries here. We have food and live glass blowing entertainment. And you can see people just love it. It's packed. Yeah. I just can't get over it. So it's fun. So you come in, you buy a ticket, and you what have you get a tumbler. Okay. You get a tumbler to take home. That's your souvenir. And the best part is it's a really intimate setting to talk with the brewers. They're beer enthusiasts. They're here because they love the beer. They're here because they love the glasses. You can choose to upgrade to a mug. They're one of a kind, unique individual cups. Everyone looks different. And so the so the breweries that you have here are all local breweries, just they like are. you're promoting the whole made in Michigan. Yes, that's Absolutely. right, right? Absolutely. We're around town. We have South Lion, we have Witch's Hat, they're local, we have Dragon Meat, Coonins, Atwater, Jolly Pumpkin. Jolly Pumpkin in Arbor, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. Everyone's got a different taste on their beers. So you're trying, if you don't like it, you just dump it out and go try something different. All right, well I'm yeah. sold. <laughs> They do blow all of their own glass here, and what neat entertainment. You can have a seat, sip your beer, and watch them blow mugs. Pick out which one maybe you want to upgrade to. So when they're all done, they turn out like this. You get to pick one. It's unique. They're all individualized. They're beautiful, and what a fun way to commemorate your evening here at the Glass Academy. All right, guys, I'm empty. What do you recommend? The Atwater Dirty Blonde is a definite. I like that. I like, I like dragon meat. Dragon meat? All right. I certainly have never been to something so original yes, with the glass blowing. It's really showcase how the glass that you're drinking from was made. One word of advice. Yeah, there's fire all around you. There's glass blowing. <laughs> Dress appropriately. Can I get a cheer? The hot glass cold beer? Yeah. Hot right. glass That's cold, cold beer. beer. <laughs> Atwater Brewery, you are a longtime staple of Detroit. Absolutely. About 17, 18 years now. Yep. Tonight I have the uh, Blocktoberfest lager. Okay. Then I also have our Dirty Blondes. Dirty Blonde is a wheat beer, and what flight kind of flavors are we going to find in it? Well, we do add orange peel mm -hmm. and coriander to it. Okay. That's the kind of beer that I like. And, and it's, I mean, there's a, like, you all have little nuances that right. change the flavor, but thank goodness for the local microbreweries that have given us all something to drink besides just um, Swill. the big guys. <laughs> right. Cheers. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Oh. Good? It's delicious. Yes, I love it.
a need out of war, and I've actually had your beer. Excellent. Yes, I've had it on tap before. So tell me, what did you bring to the party tonight? Well, today, today we have four really exciting beers. We have an American Amber, mm -hmm. um, and we have a Belgian wheat beer. Then we have our traditional final absolution. It's a Belgian triple. And then we have Hoppus Day, which is the final absolution recipe done with American hops. So this is the wheat beer. Ooh, that's nice. Excellent. Excellent. They've got food to go with all these wonderful beers. And you are from the Matador, Matador and Taylor. Yes. Taylor. And what, what is this? What do we have here? We have a chipotle wrap here. Um, it's got a chipotle mayo, turkey, lettuce, tomato, and a jalapeno wrap. So it's going it's to have a kick to it, I'm hoping. Yes. I know the witch's hat, so I like the train hopper. The train hopper? But most of the ones that I've tried have been pretty good. Yeah, I've went around and sampled. They all have a very unique, different flavor. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You get, yeah, you got to give them a chance. If you don't like it at first, you have to give it a chance because you're, you're still tasting the one before. Well, you just sample some of the food in between, and then you're... You exactly. That helps. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> all right. Well, cheers. Thank cheers. you. Cheers. Thank you. So up next is the Jolly Pumpkin. You're out of Ann Arbor? Yes, yes, right on Main Street. Right on Main Street, awesome. And so what did you guys bring? So we have a sour saison, the PDQ. Um, there's hints of coriander and peppercorn in there. That is the lupulo. It's a little bit lighter. Thank you. All right. Ooh. Oh, I guess I like sour beer. I didn't. Oh, I really like it. It really help clean up the tartness a little bit at the end, so it's not yeah. just overpowering no, the sour. It's really good. It's almost like a citrusy flavor because of that. Well, yeah, there's a lot of grapefruit notes in that grapefruit, one. Grapefruit, yep. yes. Well, it's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, Cheers. Enjoy. So, I understand you were brought here for a special reason. Yes, I was. My Father's Day present <laughs> from my children. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what a great kid you have. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I've even upgraded you. I love you. Yes, they have. Yeah. 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 yeah, they did a good job. They did a good job. Good Father's Day present. Well, we're having a great time together. Yeah. This is so unique. It's our first experience here. We love it. Everything is great about it. it is, I hope yeah. the cameraman ain't drinking. No! <laughs> Next, I'm going to sample from Coonhead. They're out of Warren, and you brought a sample. You've got four different ones. Yeah, four from. different beers to try. Uh, we have the Pure Michigan Pilsner, which is made with 100% uh, Michigan ingredients, including the yeast strain. Wow. It's pretty rare. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah, yeah okay. you ready to try it? Well, I'll try that one. All Michigan made, yeah. It's a lighter beer, um, Michigan hops, made with uh, Cascade and Chinook hops. All grown in Michigan. Even the yeast strain was cultivated out of the air in the UP. In the UP. So it's really a unique beer. Um, it's it's made with uh, Michigan barley, oh, Michigan wheat. It tastes too. like Michigan. It makes me happy. I'm yeah. a Michigander. Yummy. Yeah, yummy. Yeah, yummy. <laughs> Just remember, hot, glass, cold beer, another great reason to buy local and drink local in the D. You know those cozy Italian restaurants that you see in the movies? You know the kind with the great location, the fabulous city views, and the warm, welcoming atmosphere? Well, we have one of those Italian restaurants right here in downtown Detroit, Angelina Italian Bistro. We're in the old, what, the old Madison Theater? The old theater. Madison Theater, and it's right on the corner of Broadway and Grand Circus Park right across the street from the Detroit Opera House, uh, Comerica Park, down the street from the Fox, and we're right on the People Mover. So anywhere that the People Mover goes, 
people can get to us or come here for dinner and go there. So it's, so it's just easy access yes. right in the heart yeah, of it all. And you guys have just had rave reviews of your food as well. It's nice to hear not just the reviews from the press, but when people come in and say, I've had a fantastic time, I'm taking a stack of cards, I'm emailing all my friends, it's really nice. You've also mentioned you've got a lot of local Detroit touches in here. Can Absolutely. we go kind of take Absolutely. a peek at some of those? So Tom, this pretty sweet design, whatever you call sculpture, was done by a local artist? It was. I mean, it, we wanted to have, because it's, the windows are open and it's a beautiful space, we didn't want anything that was going to block the view from the bar to the, you know, the beautiful park here in Comerica Park and right. the Opera House. We talked with uh, one of the local guys, Jason Huffines, mm -hmm. and he's with Dormouse. He gave us a prototype and we were totally knocked out. We said, this is exactly what we want. It's very nice and airy. Yeah. You can see through it. Mm -hmm. They incorporated it into our uh, wine cabinet here. Oh, sure. I mean, it's, uh, they did a beautiful job. They did the beautiful steel work on the back bar, oh, and they incorporated sure. the, the wheat type yeah. things as well in that. The other piece of artwork is the chandelier. Ooh. One of the people that was working for us, Erica Bartels, was a CCS graduate. She says, look, I have a friend of mine, Lucy Olachowski. Mm -hmm. She's an amazing glass blower. She says, I think the two of us can work together and figure something out. It's 150 pieces of individual blown glass. Erica worked, helped work on the, the harnesses, and uh, Lucy did the glass blowing. Yeah, very pretty. And the one last piece of art that we had was uh, we wanted people to remember what the building was, and that was the Madison Theater. That's a painting from a 1928 photo. Oh, it's a painting. It actually yeah, looks like an actual yeah. photograph. Yeah. So this, again, is the Antipasta Bar. Yeah, we call it the Antipasta Bar. I mean, we wanted an open kitchen. If you wanted to, you could, you could be on the, really on the firing line here. We make all our pasta from scratch, our pizza from scratch. We smoke our own uh, fish, um, cure our own meats. We do have people that come in. I want to sit at the Antipasta Bar. I want to see what's going on in the kitchen. So you've got a very nice, spacious dining room here. Yes, we seat about 100 people. Um, the bar, in addition, seats about 30. Okay. And then um, we have a little private dining room that we can get about 15 people in. Well, Tom, on the note of talking about the food, it's really got my mouth watering to try some of it. Excellent. Well, let's try some. Wow. This is beautiful. I mean, presentation is such a part of eating, and Absolutely. this is just phenomenal. Over here is uh, our eggplant tori, and basically we've taken um, polenta. We also have a goat cheese that's layered with uh, mm. eggplant, and then a grilled portobello mushroom. We finish it with the uh, bitter arugula greens and a little bit of a balsamic reduction. Next here, this is our strucolo. It's a chicken and Sicilian caponata strucolo. And basically, you take zucchini squash, uh, eggplant, olive oil, a little bit of onions, capers, olives. We've uh, incorporated that into uh, with chicken. Uh, into the, the phyllo pastry dough, and then a little side of our uh, sautéed vegetables, yellow and uh, green squash. This is one yes. of our signature dishes. Uh, it's called the La Angelina. This is an artisan salami. Okay. Mortadella. This one has pistachios. That is a mousse made with um, bay scallops. This is a uh, smoked salmon. And then we have the different roasted vegetables here. This is the brusolo, Tony Soprano's favorite. Yeah. Grilled fennel, grilled asparagus, and uh, grilled green onions here. And of course, olives to go with that. These are handmade uh, ravioli. Mm. And they're stuffed with ricotta cheese. And we put the thyme, oregano, and basil. Uh, we do a white wine uh, butter sauce with the roasted uh, garlic and the tomatoes, and then the artichoke hearts. And then uh, finally, oh, uh, this, finally. Is, this is only <laughs> one of our uh, desserts, dark chocolate, white chocolate milk chocolate, dark chocolate uh, crumbles on the top, and finished with chocolate in the mint leaf, and it's absolutely amazing. We also make a traditional uh, tiramisu, she makes apple tarts, uh, and cakes, cookies, all sorts of things. Wow.
fennel has a uh, anise flavor to it, and a lot of Italians cook with it. Yeah, and the salmon smoked right on the premises. Ooh, that's good. Bedolo. Tony Soprano would be happy, right? Oh. Gallop moves. This is so beautiful. Mmm. We have. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I'm so excited to try this. The polenta. Mm. Which, again, is my favorite here. But the polenta, mm. like I said, I've had polenta before and mm. Chef Joel's yeah. polenta. That is phenomenal. That is so good. It's so light. Mm, that balsamic taste on it, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, this asparagus is phenomenal. Yeah. That's better than my grilled asparagus. I think I make pretty good grilled asparagus. That's good. Okay, panada. Mm. Nice. Ooh, I like the red pepper mm -hmm. flavor. That's very good. Mm. Mm. I don't know what well, I would order when I came back. I'd have to say, set me up again. Well, I'll let you try some of the uh, uh, ravioli. Now this is all homemade. Smoked. All your pasta is homemade. Oh yes. And it's it's really a struggle sometimes to keep up. And he's sometimes in here 12 hours a day mm -hmm. making pasta. So. Mm. Oh, the sauce on that is so yummy. The Again, butter uh, wine, you said? Yeah, butter white wine. wine, white wine, butter. Mm. And this will change. We need taste TV. This is delicious. Hopefully that's not too big for you. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's like a little piece of heaven. Mm -hmm. mm. And so light. They could easily eat that whole thing because it's not that heavy. Tom, thank you so much for a fabulous meal. You're very welcome. My pleasure. And if you are looking for scrumptious Italian food, beautifully prepared, then look no further than Angelina Italian Bistro, right in the heart of downtown. Great views, and this says it all right here. There are plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. Head to Trenton to see boats and jet skis roar on the river, then to Freedom Hill for the weekend when everyone's Italian. The Sterling Fest Art and Music Fair offers tons of fun, and punk rock fans won't want to miss the Vans Warped Tour. The Maker Fair at the Henry Ford is an inventor's delight, and the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show is one of the top in the country. Enjoy luxury autos at the Concours d'Elegance, then relive days gone by at the Clinton Township Gratiot Cruise. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. I'm at a downtown Detroit landmark, American Coney Island, and if you love these, this is the place to be. We're kicking off a Coney eating hot dog contest. So Grace, tell me what's going on here at American Coney Island. We're having the first annual Coney eating contest. How many Coney's you can eat in 10 minutes? And the biggest winners actually of tonight is Golightly Career and Technical Center. We've established a Kuros Family Fund Scholarship for the culinary students at this school. And it's so the kids of Detroit at this school that are going to the culinary world yes. will May hopefully one day be able to stay in Detroit, open up a restaurant in Detroit, so we're giving the proceeds all to that. Oh, that's wonderful. It's so wonderful. That, is that's that sort of what inspired it? That's what inspired it, the whole thing. A lot of people coming out for this, really happy, including you guys, thank you. And bringing some attention to downtown and kind of showing Nathan's and Coney Island in New York, like, you know what, hey, we can do it 10 times better than Yeah, it's exciting. So we've got three of the judges here. We've got Rick Mahorn, Shane Carson, and Ken Cockrell getting ready to kick it off. Well, the excitement in the room is just about to be kicked off, and I'm going to hand it over to Tom Constant. I want to recognize people from the Go Lightly Career and Technical Center. Woo! Ladies, raise your hand back there. I also want to take the time and recognize our celebrity judges here today. Former mayor and current Detroit City Councilman and longtime, if not lifetime, Detroit supporter, Mr. Kenneth Cockrell Jr. <laughs> Former bad boy of the Detroit Pistons, the legendary Rick Mahorn. And Shane Collins from Wow Shane Wow, radio internet personality. 
Uh, we have another judge that's on his way. It's going to be Charlie Ladoff when he gets here in a second. We'll introduce him. They're lining up the trays here for the Coney Eating Challenge. And of course, these are authentic Coney dogs. We've got the awesome chili from here at American Coney Island and the onions and the mustard and they're just all that yumminess hot off the grill. They look delicious. What do you think about Coney's as the first off? I love them. I mean, it's, it's part of Detroit heritage, and you got to always have a coney when you come in. Don't leave any on your face. Because <laughs> if you leave it on your face... Oh, come on, bro! I grew up eating these things. I've been coming to American Coney Island since I was probably about five years old. My dad used to bring me in here. Well, the main reason I'm here today is, well, two reasons. One, it's a great charity helping out the DPS students, Go Light specifically. And then two, it's about American Coney Island and what they're doing along with the sponsors. <laughs> We are so excited that they are partnering with us and, and, and supporting our students with scholarships. This is just a wonderful thing. Thank you, Betty. Charlie, thanks for coming. This is the best restaurant in Detroit, period. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. You must eat the full Coney. That's defined as a hot dog and bun with chili, mustard, and onions. But the best chili and onions and mustard and bun that you'll ever have, you know that. You must fully eat one before proceeding to the next. Only the final coney will be counted as partially eaten. Coney's still in the mouth at the end of 10 minutes count only if swallowed. Contestants who do not keep food down for a minimum of 30 seconds after the conclusion of the contest will be disqualified. All right, and finally, let me talk about the prize package. What our winner will win, a $250 gift certificate to the Somerset Collection, a gift certi certificate to Michael Simon's Roast, and we have, you get, I should say, a year's worth of free Coney lunches, one a week yeah! for a year. Right now. My strategy? Just speed. Just keep going and just shoving them in. So here comes the girl. They're each starting out with one dozen per plate. And then of course they've got more when they finish those. Five, four, three, two, one. Eat! Go, 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 go! Oh yeah. So we're about a minute or two into it. I don't know. Some guys are really going to town. Wow. The gentleman from Quicken in the middle. This is a close contest, I'll tell you. Unbelievable. We got some Coney lovers here, that's for sure. Savor every bite. Five, four, three. Slow down two, one. Go! Time! Larry, come here. Yeah, or, no, stay there. Stay there. Uh, and I'll stay here. <laughs> On the other side of the table. First of all, let me congratulate everybody here. I think they deserve a big round of applause. That was a hell of an effort. Thank you all. Thank you all, contestants. So Larry's the official winner. Right. Ten and a half hot dogs Lovely. in ten minutes. He's about to get the hot time, dog trophy. How does it feel to be the first Coney Dog winner? Uh, it, feels, it feels good. I'm, I'm a little full. Uh, probably not going to eat dinner tonight, but... <laughs> but uh, you, get a, you get a little... A little thanks, thanks for that. <laughs> now, are you going to go home and put this up on your mantle? Uh, actually, it's going uh, going to my desk at work. All my co-workers came out to support me. It's it's going right on the desk at Quicken Loans. It's going to support my team. Now, you had a big cheering section. Do you think that helped to lead to your success? Yeah. I did, absolutely. It was, it was a mental thing. I knew everyone was behind me. I had the crowd. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. So there you have it, American Coney Island, a Detroit landmark since 1917. And you don't need to have a Coney Dog Eating Challenge to taste some of the best dogs in town.
Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you would like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.